Father, let's do this again. A big God bless you to all. A big, a big God bless you to all. I know that um, we've been having some difficulties here going live technically, but uh, we are on back. So I'm just going to wait for a few of you. God bless you. I see many of you are connecting already. We're going to start this one more time. Amen. And people on YouTube, thank you for connecting. People on Facebook, thank you for connecting in the name of Jesus. Thank God. Thank God for your lives. I am excited because I believe God is with us. I believe that the Lord is going to bless somebody that is watching in the name of Jesus. Thank God. Thank God. All right. So um, begin to share this video right now if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, from my um, dining room table. Just wanted to take a moment and connect with you uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm monitoring both platforms to see who will be connecting with us today in Jesus' name so that we can pray and bless you. And I want to share something that God has put in my heart to bless somebody in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing, sharing, share this video. Uh, people on Facebook, people on YouTube. And uh, just want to bless you. Want to bless you. You are blessed. You are also uh, empowered by the power of Jesus Christ. You are the head and not the tail. The Lord is with you, you that are watching me. Uh, the Lord will never so, uh, forsake you. The Lord will never stop blessing you. The Lord will never stop being on your side. You that are watching me on YouTube, uh, God bless you, Lish. And um, uh, Almira, also God bless you. Wendy, also God bless you. Michelle, God bless you. Um, um, Catherine, also I see you're connecting. In, in uh, Savannah from YouTube also. Uh, Sophia from Facebook also. Melissa from Facebook also. Uh, God bless you. And uh, the, the Lord the Lord is, is a good God. Uh, the Lord is, is with you. And the Lord want, want to just overwhelm you with the grace and the blessing of his son, Jesus Christ. So uh, share the video right now because what I'm about to share with you, I want to help you. I want to help you recover something as your spiritual father, you that are connecting and have connected with this ministry. As your spiritual father, I want to help you recover something. The Lord has given me the anointing to help people recover. My children will recover. God's children will recover. Uh, Jesus' children will recover. The Holy Spirit children will recover. So I am a vessel of recovery. Jesus had made me a medium, a medium to help people recover by his grace, by his power, and by his name, in Jesus' name. So, uh, Alvin, in Facebook, bless you. Del Delicia, also I see you connecting. Uh, Pastor Anita, in Facebook, bless you. And Amanda uh, Li <coughs> Linares, also a big God bless you. So, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I am so overwhelmed by uh, the, the, the goodness of God. And uh, as I said, I'm coming to you from um, my little uh, uh, dining room <clears throat> here in New York. As you can see, I'm still in a T-shirt uh, because I, after this, I'm going to go and do something else for the ministry, pray for you. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you after I finish. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you later. So I'm still in a T-shirt. As you see, I haven't even... Uh, well, I did something with my hair so that you people will see that at least I look decent. But thank God that uh, my Lord is ready to bless you, ready to bless you, ready to bless you, ready to bless you. So uh, uh, Jesus has uh, commissioned me as a vessel of gospel. You know, gospel is good news. You that are watching me, um, uh, the Lord said, go and preach. The gospel. Preach the gospel to the poor. Uh, bind the brokenhearted. He said, that, preach the gospel to them that are bruised. He said, open the prison doors of them that are bound. 
and declare to you people the year of the Lord, the year of Jubilee, the year of the Lord's favor. And the Jubilee is very, very important for the people of God because Jesus is our Jubilee. And as you know, in the Bible, the Jubilee is a year, a year of release, a year of, of, of recovering, a year of uh, restoration, a year of, of uh, recuperation. So Jesus in him, Blekayabu Soto, is the one that, that has fulfilled the Jubilee blessing. And I want to bless you in the name of the Jubilee, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. So let me just take one more moment and say hello to you people. Thank God, people. Let me know what is a country. Uh, please let me know also what country you're connecting from. I want to call your country. I want to bless you. I want. I see Connie from New York. God bless you. Um, let me know what city, what state, what country you are connecting from. Lema Sikaboso. So I can acknowledge you. Thank you. Uh, Paul, hi, from Ireland. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. Louisa, uh, from, uh, oh, so many people connecting from India, from Idaho, from Canada, from Germany. God bless you. From what have, uh, what have we led to New York? David from UK. Oh, my God. Uh, people from Karachi, people from Houston, people from Colorado, people from Nevada. Joshua from uh, Punjab. People from New York, people from Wichita, Kansas, uh, California, Hamburg, Germany, Trinidad, Tobago, Washington, D.C., also in the house. Chesapeake, Virginia, also connecting. Raleigh, New, New uh, North Carolina, also connecting. Uh, Cedar Rapids, Virginia. Um, 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 Massachusetts, Massachusetts, sorry. <laughs> uh, I am excited. I can't even speak. San Juan, Puerto Rico, also in that. The Philippines, also connecting. My God, Nagaland is also joining us. And Mumbai from India also connecting. In the name of Jesus, from Georgia, Louisiana, Tulsa, Colorado. Ah, oh my God, Mumbai, Chicago. Oh my God, this is too much. Atlanta, Canada, uh, Yonkers, New York, Barbados also connecting. Oh, this is too much for me. Texas also in the house. South Africa also just joined up. Maryland, Puerto Rico, Loretto, Texas. South Africa again. Emma, Australia. Uh, UK, uh, uh, Yonkers, oh, Nicaragua, oh my God, this is too much. This is too much. Uh, Father, I thank you for the people. Angola is also saying, me, don't forget me. Angola said, don't forget me. Okay, Angola, you're not forgotten. San Marcos, Texas also. Uh, Dubai also say, hey, what am I be? Dubai just jumped in here. Hey, Kayabo Soto. Uh, oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's happening too, too fast. All right, now listen to me. I want to pray for you. I want to share something that it will help you recover. You see, uh, Jesus has graced me. I wanted to be a baseball player. Then I wanted to be uh, an FBI agent. I wanted to make money. But the Lord had other plans. The Bible says that many are the, uh, the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord is the one that fulfills them. The Lord is the one that, that brings them all to pass. And I am grateful that the Lord has taken me out from the secular uh, desires and put me in the ministry to bless you people. Le Cabo Sata. And because of that, the Lord said to me, uh, to be an instrument, that I want you to pay attention, to be an instrument of hope. Because Jesus is hope. You that are watching me, uh, Jesus said to me, speak life. Speak Hope, speak encouragement to the people that I'm sending you to. And that's why I speak like I speak. Le kayabo shoto. Somebody's about to, 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 to rejoice like something today. Reba bakayebo shete. Now, um, one of the things that, that the cross, people of God, signifies is that the cross, the cross is a place and a symbol of recovery. The blood of Jesus is a blood of recovery. The power of God, the Holy Ghost, is, is a power of recovery. The Spirit of God is a spirit of recovery. And I, in the book of, 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 of uh, 2 Kings, 2 Kings, in chapter 6, I want to tell you a story because many of you don't understand the power 
of recovery, the anointing to that a spiritual father has to help you recover. You need a spiritual father. You need to have a spiritual father. It's a biblical principle. I said it's a biblical concept. It's not man-made. It is not uh, denominational made. It is a biblical principle. It's a God-made system. God is the first father to us. God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he is the first father to us. He is our father. He is your father. He is my father. Now, under God, he has put, listen, he said, and I will give you pastors in the book of Jeremiah. I will give you pastors after my own heart that that will feed you, feed you with knowledge and understanding. Moses was a father to Joshua. And you saw what happened, the destiny of Joshua and how it turned out. Elijah was a father to Elisha. And you see how um, the life of Elisha turned out. Paul was a father to Timothy. And you see, the, the, the life of Timothy, how it turned out. Jesus himself, Makuse Ketea, was a father to the disciples. And he's also a father to us today too. And you see how the life of the disciples turned out. And now watch this. I want you to pay attention because it is important for you to have a spiritual father. It is for you to, and me, I, I, I understand that because I myself, uh, my father in the Lord had has gone home to be with the Lord as of uh, a few months ago. But he taught me. I submitted to him. I Listen, I just not appeared in ministry. I was under a spiritual father for many years. Bishop Roy Bryan Sr. I'm going to say it. Many, some of you will have heard of him. Maybe you haven't, but... If you have not heard of him, I'll tell you his name now. Uh, he has gone home to be with the Lord, a mighty man that did the great things on the earth when the Lord uh, gave him the ministry here. Bishop Roy Bryan Sr., my spiritual father, I was under him for many, many years. Many, many. The Lord took me to him, and I, I was under him for many, many years to the point that to today, who I am, what I am, by God's grace, is connected to what I received from my spiritual father. And if you don't have a spiritual father, you can only go but so far. I know that there are people out there that don't believe that you need a spiritual covering. Yes, you do. You and I need spiritual covering. We need a spiritual father. And when we connect with a spiritual father, the Lord releases blessings that no other uh, channels, no other people can give us. All right, so today I want to share with you on, on the, the anointing of a father that helps you recover all. The anointing of a spiritual father that is so important to help you recover all. You that are watching me on Facebook, you that are watching me on YouTube. You that are watching me in India, you that are watching Julia, I love you too. Julia, God bless you. I love you, my daughter. You that are watching me uh, in Australia, in Germany, in UK, in Canada, in North Carolina, you that are watching me in uh, uh, Trinidad, uh, Tobago, in Dubai, wherever you're watching me, I want you to pay attention. I'm about to share something that will change your life. If you would be willing and open your heart, I promise you people that you will be blessed. Your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. All right? Your, your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Now, the anointing of a spiritual father is an anointing that is essential and necessary. And I want to read something from the book of um, 2 Kings. 2 Kings now. Listen to me now. Listen. 2 Kings chapter... Uh, six, Second King chapter six, 
And uh, I touched on this message a little bit from a different angle to our church in New York this past Sunday. I want to share something deeper, more that is embedded in this message concerning the anointing of a spiritual father to help you recover all. Now, let me read it in the name of the Father. Don't worry about my hair. Don't worry about my T-shirt. The word of the Lord is more important than my hair, than how I look. I haven't even shaven. T-shirt, don't worry. You will still be blessed. You will still be blessed. Now, in 2 Kings chapter 6, people, listen. I want to read the word of the Lord in your hearing. And he says this in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It says, and the sons of the prophets. Now, see, it says sons. It says sons. Eh? A son, eh? in order for them to be called sons, it means that they, they have parents. Eh? Could be a mother, could be a father. But a son is a derivative of a parental component. A, a daughter is the seed of the parents. A son is the seed of parental components. So he says the sons of the prophets. That means that God believes in putting uh, fathers, spiritual fathers over spiritual children. Huh? Because he says the sons of the prophets, the sons of the prophets, you're listening to what I'm saying, said unto Elisha, Listen, the sons of the prophets, sons in plural, prophets in plural, uh, they said to Elisha, the head prophet at that time, the major prophet, he said, behold now, the place where we dwell with you is too small. Watch, watch. Now people follow me now. The sons have capacity to grow. The sons have capacity of expansion, but they need somebody to help them get there. Hey, Kayabo Shoto. They said, Papa, I know what God has put inside of me. I have a desire to expand. I have a desire to do more in life. They all said the same thing. Though where we are in life today, Shakabua, Leka Kotelelebo Sinbe. He said, they say, Father, Papa, ah, uh, my father. They're all saying the same thing because he says sons, plural. They say, Papa, we want to, to grow, but where we are, we can't grow. Where we are standing today, the way we are, where we are standing, the way our life is turning out is too small. Papa, will you help us expand? Listen, follow the story now, follow the story. Right? They said where we are in life is too small. They said, let us go. We pray thee. Huh? Unto, watch, watch this now. Unto the Jordan. And take every man a beam. Let us make us a place there. Watch this. Where we may dwell. Because where we are, our life is stuck here. We can't move. I want to do more. I want to go deeper. I want to fulfill. We want to fulfill our destiny. But where we are, it's like a straight jacket. Let us begin to do something. But watch this. He said, the father, the father said, okay, children, my spiritual children, go. Go and expand. But watch what they say. Watch what, what one says. He says, hey. Yes, we, we, we want to go. And thank you for sending us to go. But, hey, please, Papa, don't let your servants go alone. And play with us. Watch, watch. They understood the, the importance of spiritual covering for recovery. Ah, I like that. They understood the power of spiritual covering for recovery. Hey, Makaya. Listen, people, people, listen to, listen, listen, I want to help you. 
you will recover what you have lost by the anointing of the father that is in me i'm going to pray for somebody you will recover by the anointing of this father here that jesus has made me to you you will recover they said look we 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 want to expand but but hey we can't go without your 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 covering we can't go without your anointing we can't go without uh, our papa covering us for the expansion now he watch this he says to them huh he says to watch this so okay i will go he says to them i will go so now the father the father now watch this now now pay attention now they the father says you want to expand go they said but we cannot expand to the degree in life that we should expand unless you kayabo shata cover us as our father unless you go with us we need your father anointing hey kayabo shata we need your covering your spiritual covering to go with us so that we can succeed he said okay now that you understand this i will go so elisha goes with them to the jordan as they go to the jordan they begin to build and now now they know the father is behind them you need to know that you have a father if you, if you know uh, uh, if you understand the power of of spiritual father and you need to know that when your father goes with you when your father endorses you to do something you will succeed in life eh? he went with them they begin to work and so now they're excited because they know that their father is there with them okay watch this one of them is cutting down wood eh? in verse four right he begins to cut wood eh? but as he's cutting the wood the tree He's using an axe that does not belong to him. The axe head comes off of the handle and he falls in the river inside the water. Watch, watch, watch. He lost something. If you understand something about the axe head in the Bible, it speaks of authority and it speaks of power. It speaks of, of, of elevation and, and the ability to succeed. So, when he lost the axe head, eh, which was borrowed, by the way, eh, he was using an authority that was not even his. Uh, and he lost it. You cannot use something that is not yours. Eh? So he lost the authority. He lost the anointing. That's what the axe head represents. It represents the anointing. Something to work with. He lost it inside the water. Watch, he says, he begins to cry out. Watch, my father, my father, the father that is there watching, the father, the, the covering, you see, the covering is there with him. So he knew that he had a covering that he can go to. He knew that he had a helper. He knew that his father, hey, Kayebo Shata, will help him come out of a problem. He cried out. My father, my father, Allah, the axe head, the axe head. He said, hey, what happened to the axe head? He said, he fell in the river. Watch what the father, watch, look. Elisha represents the covering. Elisha represents authority. Elisha represents spiritual uh, uh, protection and covering. But he also represents a higher anointing. He represents the anointing of fatherhood. Hey? So he goes to Elisha. He said, I lost it, my father. I lost it. But Elisha, knowing that that was one of his sons, hey? one of his sons in the Lord, one of his sons in the ministry, he said, where did you lose it? What happened to your life? What happened? Why is this happening to you? Why are things collapsing around you? Why are things are not working out? And now the father is asking the, the, the son. And the son said, because I lost it. Something happened. He said, okay, so tell me where did you lose it? He showed him the place in the river. 
He said, I lost it. Here. I lost it. In verse 6. He said, I lost it. He shows him the place. Now, now here comes the father. Here comes the father. Here comes the father to help the children, the son, the daughter, to recover what they lost. You see, you see, the daughter, the son, in this case, the son could not recover it by himself. He needed the anointing of the father. He needed the help of the father. Ah, listen. Now the father cuts a stick. I don't want to go into the prophetic symbol of the stick. It's too, I don't have time. He cuts a stick. He drops the stick in the area where the axe head had fallen into. Now, all of a sudden, the, got, the axe head begins to flow up to the top of the water. And watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The father. The father now is recovering what the son had lost. The anointing. The helping of the father. He kayebo shata. The... the <clears throat> Because he was covered under the Father's anointing. Because he was covered under the Father's mantle. Because he was under the Father's covering. Uh, he had the right to go to his Father and said, help me. I have lost it. I don't know what to do. I lost my job. I lost my marriage. I lost my career. I lost my ministry. I lost my anointing. Father, will you help me recover it? The father says, because you are my son, because you are my spiritual son, I am going to recover it for you. He takes the stick, throws it in the river, and watch this. The, the axe begins to flow to the top. Huh? The axe begins to, to flow to the top. Watch this. Now, it, it, it says in verse 7 of, of, of 2 Kings chapter 6, he says, Elisha says to him, take it up for yourself. Now take what you lost. Take what you lost. The son puts out his hands and he took it. Now what happened here? The anointing of the father, the covering of the father, is a covering that will help you when you are in trouble. You see, I cannot pray for somebody if they're not my spiritual children. I cannot fast. I cannot uh, uh, speak and, and reason with God uh, just for anybody. But if you are a spiritual child to my ministry, to my covering, if I am a spiritual father to a person, then as a father, when my children are in trouble, I go into my prayer room and I begin to cut the stick at the spiritual stick in prayer and eh? to cast it inside where you have lost what you have lost and when i begin to pray i'm casting the stick inside and when i'm praying my father in heaven begins to move by his spirit supernaturally to help the child that i'm praying for to recover are you listening to me somebody the anointing of a father is important to a person. You must come under a spiritual covering. You must submit. Now, it must be the right covering. It must be the father that God sends you to. I have a lot of people around the world that says to me, I want you to be my spiritual father. But listen to me now. Listen to me now. The child or the son does not choose the father. The father chooses the son. Are you listening to me? The child does not choose the parent. The parent chooses the child. In the spiritual parlance, when people say to me, I want you to be my spiritual father. Listen, if God have not sent you for me to be your father, I cannot receive you as my spiritual children. But if the Lord sends you and he confirms it to me, then I take my spiritual covering, but the grace of a father that is upon me, and I put it over that person and I make them. They come in to, to be partaker of my grace. Paul said to the church at Corinth, who were their, his spiritual children, he said, 
you are all partakers of my grace. So the grace that is upon me, when somebody comes in through the approval of the Spirit of God to be my spiritual son or daughter, the grace comes upon you. You become partaker of my grace. So when you are in trouble, when you lose something, when you are going through something as your spiritual father, I begin to make intercession. I cut the stick in the room of the spirit to cast it into your problem so that you can recover yourself from that problem. Are you listening to me, somebody? Huh? The anointing of a spiritual covering is extremely important. It is a biblical principle. It is a biblical system. And there's many people that are saying that you or them or nobody needs spiritual covering. We only need God. But God himself was the one that put it this way. Are you listening to me? So I am praying for somebody today. I am praying that you that are watching me, if you don't have a spiritual father, eh, you must pray. So that God will point out the person and, and pray that God also confirms to that person that they should be your spiritual covering. You pray for God to show you the person and you pray for God also to show them about you. Are you listening to me? Because we all need the spiritual anointing of a father to help us recover in life. They said that the place where we are is too small. Some people cannot progress in life because they don't have a spiritual covering. Some people cannot succeed in life because they do not have a spiritual covering. So I want to ask your, I want to ask you, you that are watching me on Facebook, you that are watching me on YouTube, who is your spiritual father? And who is? Your spiritual father. Now, I know some will say it is Jesus. Look, he is all of us. Our spiritual father and our brother, our Lord and master. Uh, but I'm talking about who has Jesus put on the earth to cover you spiritually? Uh, who did Jesus put on the earth to cover you spiritually? Who is your spiritual father? Who can help you recover when you are in trouble? Who can help you uh, receive restoration when you lose something? Only him that is under the anointing of a spiritual father will they have the, the success, the, the, the high percentage of recovery. When you are under the spiritual anointing, when you are under spiritual covering, your percentage of coming out of a problem is higher. Your percentage of spiritual protection is higher. Your percentage of success in life, physically and spiritually, is higher when you are under a spiritual authority, when you are under a spiritual covering, when you are under a spiritual father, it could be your pastor could be a, a woman of God. She also could be your, 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 your covering. Huh? A man of God or a woman of God could be your covering. Are you listening to me, somebody? So I want to pray for you. And before I pray, I want to ask the question one more time. Who is your spiritual father? Who is your spiritual father? All right. So because that you need to answer that question today. So that God will bless you. So that your life will succeed. So that whatever you lose, you will recover it like that man, that son of Elisha, lost the axe head. But because it was under the, the covering of Elisha, because Elisha was his father, his father said, ah, don't worry, go. You will succeed in life. I will help you recover it. And the Bible says that he recovered it. And Elisha said, take it for yourself. And then he took it. And he succeeded in life. I am praying for somebody today. I am praying for you that are watching me. Alicia, Joshua, Irene, 
I say, God, I'm praying, Lisa, Parker. I'm praying for Irene Bless. I'm praying for Kirtland. I am praying for Forever Bless. I am praying for Margarita. I am praying for Delicia also. I am praying for Santa, for Rubina. I am praying. I am praying for Explore. I'm praying for Habakkuk. And I'm praying for somebody that the Lord will begin to stir up this message and that you will begin to, to understand the power and the importance and the mystery of, of being connected to your spiritual father. So ask yourself today, who is your spiritual father? If you cannot answer that question, you need to pray. You need to pray so that God will tell you, God will lead you. God will lead you, and then God, you pray for that, for where God is leading you, to forget to show that man, forget to show that woman about you. Because you also need the, the anointing, the grace of having a spiritual father. So today I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus so that God will bless you. So that the Lord will, will not forget you. So that the Lord will lead you into the place where you will connect with your spiritual father. Amen. So that the Lord will help you to understand the importance of spiritual fatherhood. As these people in the uh, Second Kings chapter 6 understood. They knew that they could not expand in life without the spiritual father. They knew they could not succeed in life without their spiritual father, Elijah. These sons of the prophets, they knew that 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 they that they if they got in trouble, they can count on their spiritual father to make intercession for them to help them come out of that problem. So I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, people that are watching me from across the world, Germany, UK, from Africa, from, from uh, Canada, from across the US, from Australia, from Trinidad Tobago from Jamaica, from India, from Pakistan, wherever they are watching me, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, they, might have, they must have revelation from the Holy Ghost. They must have revelation from heaven. Lord, let the direction of the Spirit, Bakute, God, give them insight. Give them understanding and revelation about the, who is the spiritual Father. In the name of Jesus, and every satanic attack, that will try to disrupt this understanding. Let the fire of the God of Elijah begin to burn that down now in Jesus' name. Father, wherever they're watching me in Miami, wherever they're watching me in Ilu Sanjia, wherever they're watching me from Bangkok and Thailand, Lord, wherever they're watching me from India, they're watching me from, from uh, 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 Tulsa, Oklahoma, from South Africa, wherever they're watching me. In the name of Jesus, as a spiritual father to many that I am, Lord, I speak right now the umbrella of blessing of those that are uh, spiritual children of this ministry. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now I speak the blessings of, 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 of the prophets, of the spiritual prophets, the spiritual father over the children now. In the name of Jesus, and God, whatever your people have lost, as the anointing of a father is upon me, I speak recovery to somebody. I speak recovery to you, whatever you have lost. I said I activated my spiritual fatherhood anointing. And I command that accent. I command that relationship. I commanded that the finances. I commanded that marriage to be recovered right now in the name of Jesus. I, 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 I command that business that you have lost. I command that business to be recovered in the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, the ministry that you have lost. I command that ministry to rise up and float again in the name of Jesus. Take it for yourself as Elijah said to the young man, his son, take it. And the man took it. I command you to take a recovery from the spiritual father. Uh, I command your accent to float again. Take it in Jesus' name. Lekayeboshata. I command the blessing, the blessing of the spiritual anointing that is in my life and ministry over somebody. I command blessing over you now. I command blessing over your children now. I command blessing over your ministry. I command blessing over your career. I command blessing over your marriage. I command blessing over your finances. I command blessing over your body in the name of Jesus. As a spiritual father that I am to many, I bless somebody. I said, I bless somebody. I said, I bless somebody in the name of Jesus. 
wherever you're watching me, receive the blessing. Recover, recover, recover. I'm releasing recovering grace. I said, as I pray, I'm releasing recovering grace. I said to take it. Elisha said to the men, take it for yourself. Now you need to take it because the Bible says it was the men that, that made an effort to take the blessing. Take the blessing now in the name of Jesus. I said, take the blessing. Receive it for yourself. Receive it for yourself. I command a total recovery in your life right now in the name of Jesus. That thing that was going wrong, today is the last day. That thing that was going down, today is the last day that it, to, to go down. I command it to recover. I command it to go up again. I command it to, for a turnaround. I command it for a total reversal in the name of Jesus. Le Kayebo Shata. I release it over your life. I release it over your head. I release it over your house right now. I feel the anointing of recovering, the anointing and the grace of a father, spiritual father, that I am to many. I am releasing it now to somebody, and all you have to do is take it, take it, take it, take it, take the recovery, whatever you lost in the realm of the spirit, I call it back to your hand. I call it back into your hand. I said, I call it back into your hand. Whatever you have lost, I speak in the authority of a spiritual father in the name of Jesus. I call it back into your hand. Take it and receive it in Jesus' name. Le Kayebo Sata. Father, I thank you for the people that are watching from across the world. I see recovery happening. I see many, 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 about 400 of you are recovering. In the next 60 minutes, the Lord said to me, in the next 60, 60 minutes, the Lord said to 400 of you will begin to recognize the recovering of that thing that you have lost. It is coming back. I see it in the realm of the spirit. I see it shifting. I see it reversing. I see it turning around. It's coming back to you. I speak as a prophet of the Lord. Not in my name, but in the name that is above every name. His name is my master, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And to him be the praise, the glory, the honor, and the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Many people now, some people, some of you are crying the joy of the Lord. Yes, yes, you were sad. You were sad before. You were depressed before. You were heavy before. But I see even that recovering. Ah, you're recovering your joy. You're recovering your strength. You're recovering your happiness. Something is happening. Something is happening already to about 70 to 77 people. Something is happening. I see you shaking under the recovering. That's the recovering grace, recovering anointing. That's an, a sign, an indication. Evidence that your recovery is already happening in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Le kayebo se taraka baya, pare bo se ke bo si bisi ke te akuta, raka bo sabasaka. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the people that are watching from across the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. So many, so many. I see so many, so many, so many people, so many people recovering. So many people recovering. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I give you praise. I give you praise. Lord, I sanctify your name over the people. Right now, le kayebo shata. Someone's chapter is being rewritten by the angel the rights in the book of life. Your chapter is being rewritten. Your chapter is being rewritten. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Akua bosete. The Lord is releasing fresh water over somebody that is weary. Receive it now. Receive the refreshing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the refreshing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the refreshing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the refreshing of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remember, it's important for you to be under your spiritual father. He will help you expand. He will help you succeed. His grace is what you also need to help you move in life. You shall move in life after today in the name of Jesus. I said you shall move in life after today in the name of Jesus because of the grace that is upon this ministry and upon my life. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord. 
I remove every blockage, every every door that has been closed. I command it to be open. I said, as your spiritual, that's it. I command the door to open in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. And now listen. Lastly, I want to share again. Go to the website. We're going to be next week in Nashville for our next Coast to Coast Holy Spirit Power Crusade in the city of Nashville in Tennessee. Praise God. That's next week, Friday the 14th. Praise the Lord at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Nashville. Go to the website right now. People are registering. I made an announcement yesterday during yesterday's live stream and many people registered too. Today, I want to give you an opportunity to come, come to Nashville. The power of God will be tangible for deliverance. There will be mass healing from the presence of the Lord. There will be mass deliverance, mass, a break of chains will take place. The breaking of chains will manifest. The prophetic anointing will be deep. I'm talking about speaking mysteries. God will speak to everybody that is there. The Holy Spirit is going to speak to every single person that will attend this Coast to Coast Crusade the next week in Nashville. Go to edcitronelliministries.com. At CitronelliMinistries.com. Register is for free. Amen. But you must register and get there very early in the name of Jesus. Don't forget also, uh, two weeks later, we will be in Atlanta. That's May 28th. Praise the Lord. At the Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel. Atlanta Airport Marriott Hotel in Atlanta. You must register. People are just, just, just saturating, flooding the registration. And but we have room for you because things are opening across the nation. They're allowing more people to gather. So they're allowing us more people inside the venue. Go to the website right now at Citronelli Ministries. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, for the Atlanta Crusade on May 28th. That's for the Atlanta. And for the Nashville, it's next week, the 14th, the 14th, the 14th, all right? All right, the Atlanta and the Nashville. You that are uh, in New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, this Friday, all right, that's tomorrow, this Friday, I will be ministering in our prophetic release service, all right? I don't know how many people... My God, it's, it's overwhelming how many people uh, have already registered for tomorrow. But this is, this is the key. This is the secret. Register, but show up early. All right? First come, first serve. This is tomorrow at the Sheraton LaGuardia East Hotel. Go to the website at Citronelli Ministries, and we will see you there tomorrow night. Sunday also, praise God, I will be in New York. I will be in New York tomorrow night. I will be in New York service Sunday as well. And then next week, Friday, as I mentioned, is the Nashville, Tennessee, the 14th, Friday. And then at the end of the month, May, again, on the 28th of May, I will be in Atlanta. Go to the website. God bless you. I love you. Jesus is Lord. I am so glad I was able to connect with you as your spiritual father. If you don't have a spiritual father, I don't have to be your spiritual father. Pray, first pray, and then let God tell you who is your spiritual father. And also speak to God to show that man, that woman about you for, for them to take you in as a spiritual son or a spiritual daughter. I bless you in the name of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. And your life is blessed. Your life shall never go down. Your life will continue to increase in the, in the land of the living. Your eyes are about to see greater things in the land of the living than what you have seen before. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus loves you. I love you, but I could never love you as much as, much as he does. Amen. He loves you with an everlasting love, 
and because he loves you and because Jesus is Lord, the best for you is yet to come. God bless you. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Until next time, I am praying for you and I will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Until next time, bye-bye.